Hello, my name is Hiva. Hi, um, I'm Hamlin. My name is Narayan. My name is Sarah. My name is Soha. My name is Mickey. My name is Ahmed. And I've been on Blueprint for our only one term. This is my second term. Second term. Two terms now. Two terms. Third term. Four terms. Seven terms. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this is what our president does. I've been on Blueprint for um, eight terms, I think. So what is Blueprint? Um, <laughs> well, uh, very simply, Blueprint is a student club that builds a tech for social good. good. It's composed of different student project teams that partner with different nonprofits all over Canada now to build different solutions uh, with the technical skills and work alongside the clients to try to create some sort of impactful project. To me, I think Blueprint is about connecting students to organizations that are unable to expand because of their limitations of technology. And that's what I think Blueprint is to the bare bones. To the barest of the bones. To the barest of the bones. <laughs> so why Blueprint? I think Blueprint is just an open environment to both refine your skills and to actually make change with like-minded people. And I don't think I would have met those people outside of Blueprint. My product manager is like, let me teach you about product management. They're, they're awesome. They're awesome. When I first joined the club, I was a junior person, so I got a lot of mentorship. And then as I became an upper year student, I'm able to mentor backwards. And I think that that's a beautiful balance that, that um, we, we have at this club. It's the circle of life. <laughs> it's a sandbox where as long as you come with the right tools, then you can build whatever you want out of it. And these are opportunities that are pretty hard to come across um, outside of industry. But on the other hand, we're also able to help nonprofits by being able to create solutions for them below market price. Blueprint has like shown me a lot that like what really motivates you in a project and keeps you engaged in it are working with really great people. Whenever you're working with a great team that has great ideas all the time and they're willing to follow through and execute on them, it's just a really empowering environment. I sit in meetings and I listen to them talk and I'm like, oh my God, like this terms team has like blown me away. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like my team clicks so well. I feel like we're just on the same wavelength of sarcasm. <laughs> it's very easy in Waterloo to be pushed down some, some sort of river for where you want to go. You have to like climb this ladder or you have to like focus on this thing. You have to grind really code over it. And I think like meeting a diverse array of people that are interested in different things really helped me realize that it's not just a one-way street. For example, like I was really um, passionate about like mental health in high school. I didn't really find like a space for that in tech, but coming to Blueprint, I kind of felt like two things I was really passionate about merged into one. Another great thing about Blueprint is the merch that we get. Bam, stylish. <laughs> okay. What is your best memory with Blueprint? When you're not working is when you like really get to know the people you're working with. And we just start, we were just talking until like 1 a.m. Not even about Blueprint sometimes, it's talking about life. And I think those kind of spontaneous moments are very rare when you're remote. When we finished the project, like Julian sent out a kudos to the whole team. It comforted my heart. I was like, wow, this is great. Like, Pernoy, for some reason, thought a pyramid was a uh, cylindrical. Like he drew like, a, <laughs> it was like a triangular prism instead of a pyramid. And that was definitely a very uh, funny moment. <laughs> I guess we don't hire for our ability to like draw out shapes. That is true. <laughs> When I first joined the club, I didn't know React. I didn't really know much skills, and I wasn't very confident as a developer. You know, seven terms with, with Blueprint, I, I became very confident in that and able to lead, lead a project now. Uh, because Blueprint moves really fast, uh, also just being okay with dealing with like failure. Like, I guess it's like, it's not okay to write bad code, but like, it's okay to like write it and then like learn from it and improve it. Yeah. Being able to bring together a lot of different perspectives to solve very ambiguous problems. You're good at it too. <laughs> no, it's actually like, I think it's easier said than done. What is the most impactful thing that you've had a chance to be part of? So our project with SVP is definitely one of the most amazing projects I've been on because uh, because of the impact. Um, over the, you know, a year and a half we've been working with them, we helped distribute over $2.6 $2 million in funding, which is just crazy that that software that I was able to build could, could do that. Knowing that we're on track uh, to like give something tangible, um, feels pretty impactful and even um, when they do like user testing or they talk about interacting with it, like sometimes it hits you like, wow, there's like people actually using it. This term, I've really enjoyed doing recruitment reform. Had you worked in industry, you know, that would take you like, you know, a decade to even get to that level. It's really refreshing to work on a project or product that you genuinely feel passionate about. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited because now that I found that direction, it's something that I'm chasing after. When you go to these professional places, they're like, you're hesitant to add new features or add new things because you're like, that's gonna cost more money. 
but with us, it's like, is it going to help us or is it not? And we do a great job of hiring designers, PMs to really make the user experience and the product to be usable by, by people who maybe don't have the same technical skills that we have. It may seem like, I guess, just like a club full of like students who are just love coding um, on the side. But I really think some of the people in Blueprint that have been like some of the most like thoughtful people I've encountered in university about um, what they're building. And so I think if you do, if you're a nonprofit, you decide to work with Blueprint, the team that is trusted to work with you uh, will be trying their best. Would you say you love the club? Yeah, for sure. I've been here for so long. I have a problem of like <laughs> leaving. I'm like a commitment issues, but reversed. <laughs>